Hi there. Now, before we start part B, just as a quick reminder, we were given the equation of this curve C as being y equals x cubed minus 10x squared plus kx. And we were given that this point P was a maximum when x was 2. And we had to show that k equaled 28. OK, so moving on from there, we're now told that the line through P parallel to the x-axis cuts the y-axis at the point N. OK, and the region R is bounded by the curve C, the y-axis, and Pn. And now what we've got to do is use calculus to find the exact area of that region R for six marks. So if you'd like to have a go at this, I haven't done so already, just give you a moment then to pause the video. OK, welcome back then if you had a go. Now, in order to find this region R, what I'm going to do is we'll drop a line from P, OK, parallel to the y-axis, down onto the x-axis, so this will be the point where x equals 2. And if we were to integrate between 0 and 2, the equation of the curve, we would establish this area bounded by the curve, this line, in other words, x equals 2, and the x-axis. Now, I'll call this region Q here, OK? So we'll establish the area in there. And then all I've got to do is work out the area, the rectangle, and subtract the area Q. And that will give me R. But to work out the area of the rectangle, I need the height. I need the Y value here at N. So that's where I'm going to start. And I can get that just by substituting X equals 2 into my equation here. So if we can just squeeze it in up here, we'll just say when x equals 2, OK, what we've got then is y will equal 2 cubed, OK, so we've got 2 cubed minus 10 times 2 squared, and then plus k, which we now know is 28, so it's going to be plus 28 times x, and x is 2. And if you work this out, you should find you get 24. So we've got the height of this rectangle is 24 units. Let's just put that in there as 24 units. OK, so we've got no problem then getting the area of the rectangle. 24 times 2, 48 units squared. Now to get the area Q then, I've got to use integration. I've got to integrate the equation of the curve, OK, with respect to x, going between the limits of x equaling 0 to x equaling 2. So I'll put that in, integrating the curve. So we've got the curve here, has the equation then x cubed minus 10x squared plus kx, k being 28 though. OK, we've got three terms here. So we need to put that in brackets, and we're integrating all of that with respect to x. And then in the usual way, for terms like these, we just add 1 to the power and divide by the new power. So for the first term, it's going to be x to the 4 divided by 4. Next term, second term in, it'll be minus 10x cubed, and then divided by 3. And for 28x, it'll be 28x squared divided by 2. And we need to put these in limits, in square brackets, with limits on the end. So just do that. Square brackets. The limits then are going from 0 to 2. So we now just need to substitute our limits in. And so we've therefore got the area of Q Okay, is going to equal well, putting the 2 through, we've got 2 to the power 4 then, divided by 4, minus 10 times 2, all cubed, divided by 3. And then we've got plus 28 divided by 2. I might as well call that 14, OK? That cancels. Let's just 
at, into that goes 14 times, okay? So we're going to have plus 14 times 2 squared. And when you put 0 through, you're just going to get 0, okay? So it'll be subtract 0 if you like. Well, if we work this out, okay, 33 and 1 third, okay? Being an area, I'm going to just write that as unit squared. Not that you have to, but I just like that kind of thing. Now, when it comes to the area then of R, the area of R is going to be the area of the rectangle, which is going to be 2 times 24, okay, or 48. And then we take away 33 and a third, okay? And what do we get? Well, it turns out to be 14 and 2 thirds. 14 and 2 thirds unit squared. Okay?